Reuters reports that a women's rights activist and poet who protested against the unsolved murders of women in Ciudad Juarez was killed in the city last week after being beaten and asphyxiated. 36-year-old Susana Chavez was allegedly killed by three men who left her lifeless body lying in a street last week in the center of Ciudad Juarez. A vigil was held for Chavez at her mother's home where she wrote poems demanding justice for murdered women in the city. Three 17-year-old suspects, including a neighbor, are being held in custody. They told investigators they had been drinking and got into an argument with Chavez. According to local authorities, Chavez's attackers severed off her right hand to make her crime look as though it was carried out by organized criminals. Chavez's casket was carried out of her home in Ciudad Juarez, where in 2010 alone, more than 3,000 people have been tortured, shot, and blasted to death in gang warfare, clinching its grim reputation as the world's most dangerous city. Writer and activist Armina Arjona said it was ironic that Chavez herself had become another victim of crime. It's still the time of femicides, and the irony is that she died in a violent way, she who was always outspoken about violence in the city. She also took part in many marches. She wrote and raised her voice in favor of women, above all. Chavez popularized the slogan, Not One More Death, and led protests against the killings of hundreds of women who were raped, strangled, and left in the desert. She was also a member of an organization formed by relatives and friends of slain women. Since 1993, between 75 and 50 bodies have been discovered in the desert around Ciudad Juarez. Rights groups say 270 girls and women have been murdered since that year, and another 257 disappearances of women remain unsolved. Most of the murder victims, usually students or young workers in the Maquiladora assembly plants, were raped and strangled or stabbed to death. Chavez is the second activist killed in a month in Ciudad Juarez. Another Mexican anti-crime crusader, Maricela Escobedo, fighting for the arrest of her daughter's murderer, was killed and her partner's family attacked in a chilling example of how the country's justice system is failing.